Welcome to Holiday Horror Month on Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Attack of the Lederhosen Zombies. Written and directed by Dominic Hartle, starring Gabriella Marcinkova and Lori Calvert, this is an Austrian film about a group of snowboarders who get stuck at a ski resort and soon the night turns from partying to a hellish nightmare of zombie mayhem. What do we like about this movie, guys? I thought the production value of this movie was amazing. I know it's a very deceiving uh, title. Like, a lot of people are going to see that title and think it's going to be like a sci-fi style movie or an asylum movie. But the production value is extremely high. And this film had some very cool zombie deaths. Some much needed snowboarding themed zombie deaths. I agree, they got creative, and that was that was fun. I honestly didn't expect it. Another thing I really enjoyed about this movie was actually the kind of humor. It was kind of this like dry, subtle humor. It wasn't trying to be very funny with just joke after joke. I don't know if it was more of like a European sensibility about it, but if I know if it was American, it would be in my face. Nice rack. I like that the reasoning for how the zombies came to be was not complex at all. There, some guy was making snow with chemicals and bam, chemicals got in the guy's mouth and he turned into a zombie. And it happened within the first like four minutes of the movie. This isn't a movie of substance. It's just kind of, okay, here's the reason why zombies exist, now deal with it. And I love that no bullshit attitude because it's perfect for a movie from Austria that's trying to get an American audience, which this clearly was. You don't need like a long attention span. It did everything it needed to accomplish within its hour and 12 minutes. Even Jay's thought was like, I'm like, this like half an hour? Yeah, I thought it was way shorter. I'm like, where's the rest of it? Like I want more of this movie. Yeah, there was no time wasted. There was no lulls. It just kept going and going and going. And you got to appreciate that for these movies. What was a nice added touch was we didn't just have human zombies. We had animal zombies that looked awesome. I like the practical effects in general. Our zombies looked really awesome. Like, they had boils and bubbles on their face. There were different levels of infection. And they all looked great in their own way. And it was nice having kind of like an introduction character, like the main carrier, uh, seeing his progression going from human to the final form so that you know what you can expect throughout the rest of the hordes of zombies that you're going to encounter. It was like he was in the background, his zombieing, right? Like they were carrying him around. They just, as a joke, just didn't pay any attention to it. And then next thing you know, you got a bunch of zombies. They never pointed anything out, which was great. Like, there wasn't any scientific bullshit going on here. It was just, there are zombies. The characters know that zombies exist. They've seen zombie movies, and now they know that they need to kill them. What didn't we like about this movie, guys? I think my biggest issue with this movie was there was a little too much action. It was, it's strange to say, but I, I like high action and high energy zombie movies, but this one seemed like it was kind of non-stop once the zombies kind of came to be. And then when it does end, there wasn't like a huge final confrontation that wasn't unlike the other epic deaths that we saw from the other zombies. Then on the other side of things, there's the moment where they establish the zombies stop when they hear music. As funny as that was, we get a dance scene, like an actual dance number that didn't need to be in this movie. Yeah, it was such a wasted opportunity because it should have been like a, a dance slash kill zombie sequence. Yes. And then that would have mixed it up. But it was just, it just didn't belong. So there's this thing now where you get into horror movies and they like to reference the fact that horror movies exist. And I think it's played out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I didn't have too much issue with that, but I do think that it could have been uh, kind of like I mentioned before, the Austrian filmmakers trying to kick over to the US audience too much. And the same can be said for the dialogue. I really think he's a good dude. But I don't want a dude. I want a man. It's Austrian actors playing American characters, and I think that's kind of the awkwardness, where they, they try and use uh, I do slang. think, yeah, there, there is a translation issue somewhere, whether it's the screenwriting, like the script to the acting. Like, there is something there. I personally think you can get past it pretty easily, but if yeah. you notice it, 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 it is off-putting. And then you have Bronca, who is the serious character. And you have to be so damn serious all the time. I felt that her acting was just 
too robotic. I can see that, but I thought that she was too hot and it distracted me, so I ignored it. The cutie bias. <laughs> <laughs> and we call, yeah, definitely the cutie bias. <laughs> For a film that was titled The Attack of the Later Hosen Zombies, the zombies were not rocking the traditional stereotypical wear. And that's disappointing. Yeah, the only person that was was the bartender, and the bartender just never turned into a zombie. It's time for our final thoughts and ratings. Overall, I think this was an unexpected surprise. I didn't actually think it was going to be so well produced and shot. It had a great pace. It was an interesting idea. It was very basic. It was simple. It's a zombie movie on a mountain with snow. And that's, that's basically it. They just kill some zombies. There's some cool kills. I think if you're a fan of the genre, it's not gonna be your favorite movie, but you won't hate it. I think you should definitely give it a shot. So I'm gonna give this three snowboarding zombies out of five. There's a lot of zombie movies out there, and I think the most similar to this would be Dead Snow, kind of, only because snow is involved. But it's about time that we saw snowboarders killing zombies. I think that's a really cool take on the zombie genre, a very played out genre that I'm almost getting sick of, but this was actually a really fun time despite that. The movie has its faults because I don't think there was enough of a climax. I think a lot of people are going to love this movie and if it ever makes it to Netflix, I think it will be a trending topic on Facebook, to be honest. So I'm gonna give this three and a half electric zombie boogaloos out of five. For a genre that is oversaturated, it's hard to come up with something original and different, but I felt that this movie did a great job with that by incorporating the snowboarders. I thought we had some really awesome deaths. We had snowboarders doing really cool things, attacking the zombies, and it was a lot of fun. The only downfall is there's some aspects in this film with emotions and caring for characters that didn't come across. And in this movie, the characters weren't as developed that you didn't care if they were bitten. But there was still a lot of fun to be had in this film, and I think everyone's gonna get a kick out of all the kills. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this three and a half Naked snowboarders out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your favorite dancing zombie scenes from any movie. Let us know. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we got cool shit happening all the time.